Junior, disappointing defeat in the end, but good to test yourself against a good League One side. Um, yeah, I think it was a very good test. Um, we knew that there was a passing side and they showed that in spells, but I feel like um, our performance showed today we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them type of teams as we did. I feel like we were unlucky in the manner we lost the game and it just keeps building confidence as a group, um, having them performances and we just um, get ready, move on and take it into the next game. Yeah, and good experience for especially young lads like yourself against the side that you probably know is going to have a lot of the ball, just that concentrating and keeping your shape. Yeah, um, it's also a great test for me um, it, personally. I feel like playing against these better sides, um, mm -hmm. you, we don't play them every week. So it's good to get that um, idea of how um, some teams we may play this season will come across the way they move the ball. Sometimes you won't have much of the ball and it will happen sometime this season. We saw that against a few teams this season. Um, a lot of passing teams um, had most of the ball in the game, but we come away with something. And that's what we've got to learn to kind of play the game. And we'll only get better at it. And in the second half, when we did get back in the game, we scored in that last 10 minutes. It looked like you, you had Bristol Rovers on the back foot, including yourself getting forward on, on, on lots of opportunities. Yeah, I feel like we did have them on our back foot and it started to show with the chances we had. We saw um, Hanno had his uh, shot cleared off the line. So it's just that pushing, that extra motivation once we get that first goal. And credit to Cezzy for coming on and scoring. Um, just having that desire to keep going and try to win the game. Yeah, and we just spoken to the head coach and he was talking about how much mm -hmm. it's a squad game these days with people coming off and the bench and impacting the game. I suppose all players, though, want to be in that starting eleven, and uh, he's had faith in you and uh, kept you in the side. Yeah, it's only normal that everyone wants to play. I feel like we've got a good squad depth and competition is high for places, but it's, it's, a, it's definitely a team game. And the, the subs have shown that um, the impacts Chile, Matty Longstaff, uh, Cezzy made when they come, all come on, it just shows that um, everyone's head screwed on. And even though they're not playing, they're ready to come and impact the game as they did. And also, I'm grateful for the gaffer for uh, putting his trust in me to uh, keep me in the team. But at the same time, it's just down to me to work hard and um, earn his trust. And I feel like that's what I've been doing. So I'm just trying to stay consistent and keep playing well. Yeah. And on a personal level, would you rather be playing Saturday again? Or or has it come at a good time for you to get 10 days uh, before the next game? Yeah, I see it's come at a good time to get some rest. When I've played the last few games on the bounce, um, played... 90 minutes, um, every 90 minutes, last few games. So it was obviously good to get that rest in and prepare freshly for the next game, Mansfield away. Brilliant, thank you.